Hi everyone, uh, this is Mahesh Jaraman. I'm co-founder of Sepalika, the online clinic that helps to reverse chronic disease. It's a great pleasure today to be joined by a very unique doctor. Not only is she a medical doctor and MD, she is also trained in functional medicine, which is one of the latest emerging fields of medicine. And I consider her easily the most uh, leading light on vitamin D3 therapy in India today. She is trained by none other uh, than Dr. Cicero Coimbra, who is himself an MD, a neurologist, who is considered to be literally the father of D3 treatment for autoimmunity in the 21st century. So great pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Renu Matani. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. And thank you for giving me this opportunity. I feel honored. It is uh, truly our honor to be able to take your knowledge to the to our viewers and to spread this as far as and as wide as possible. So let's get started directly, Dr. Matani. These are really tough times, not just in India, but the world over. And uh, we are now realizing that vitamin D may be the most important vitamin at these uh, you know, critical times. Why is it? Oh, well, there are so many studies talking about it. There are so many proofs for that. In fact, I would like to quote one of the latest ones by a grassroots health organization. People who have adequate levels of vitamin D in the blood, even though they get COVID, the symptoms are so mild. And it's almost 96% of people who have mild symptoms who don't even get to know that they are COVID positive, they have adequate levels of vitamin D in the blood. And on the other side, the people who are going through complications, fatalities, mortalities, they are the ones who have drastically low levels of vitamin D in the blood. 96% of them have drastically low levels of vitamin D. This is today. But if you look at it, no life is possible without sun. And vitamin D is the chemical gift or the chemical counterpart of the sun. And since we are not getting that adequate exposure to sun, be it our lifestyle, be it now the lockdown, we are almost all of us facing a severe deficiency of vitamin D on a pre-existing pandemic of vitamin D deficiency. So it becomes much more important to take care of this nutrient, which is actually an umbrella factor for the immune system. The mechanisms by way it acts, starting from the nose to the throat, to the airways, to the lungs, to the blood, to the various immune mechanisms and cells, it's the umbrella that is vitamin D. So I think it is the most factor. Awesome, awesome. What a beautiful and comprehensive answer. Dr. Matani, what are the sorts of doses that people should be taking, adults and children? Sure. See, the way I mentioned that more than 90% of us are very low, not low, but very low in vitamin D. And some of our viewers may have got their vitamin D levels checked also. So friends, the level of vitamin D that is needed to have a healthy immune system which can cope up with this COVID crisis is 60 nanogram per ml ideal or above. So if you are having a blood level of let us say 30 and you're happy, then I think it's a misnomer because that blood level is okay to just keep your bones away from problems like rickets. But for the immune system and overall health, we need more blood levels. And the sad part is we see more, less than 10. This is the situation of the story. So for those people who are in majority, we want the vitamin D levels to go up quickly. That is number one step. So if we stick on to a protocol where we are taking, say, one dose once in a week, once in 15 days, we are far away from strengthening our immunity because it's going to take ages, maybe never reach that blood level, considering that our baseline levels are so low. So in today's time, we need what you can call it as a loading dose, right? And this has been called in the West as vitamin D hammer. Hammer means you just put vitamin D in a way that it takes it up and then you try to maintain it, right? Yeah. So in India, commonest preparations of vitamin D that we have, have 60K or 60,000 international units per, per preparation. Be it capsule, be it a tablet, be it a powder, be it a liquid, okay? In today's time, the vitamin D hammer dose for people who have not taken vitamin D 
for let us say six months or above, fine, is taking this 60K international units daily for three days. And this is like your data, okay? And then after that, we maintain it with a weekly dose. Means once a week, 60K for about two months. Ideally, let it be checked. And after two months, one can go on a much lower maintenance dose and that is 60K once in 15 days or once in two weeks and continue it lifelong. Food does not have vitamin D. And that is one reason India being a tropical country is going through this vitamin D deficiency as a part of the global pandemic, right? And if there are people who are taking vitamin D, say let us take an average, say they are taking some dose, say once in a month, or once in 15 days. This is a common trend we see. Once in a month, Karen, right. 60K. Please protect yourself. Take the same 60K once a week for two months. Okay. Let the crisis be over. And then you can go on a maintenance dose of once in 15 days. Once in a month is too less for the immune system. And so this would be a recommendation for adults. Yeah. Adults means let us say 18 and above. And when we come to younger children, who definitely have anyways a stronger immunity as compared to adults. Well, for them, we can have a rough estimate of 100 international units per kg body weight per day. And one can work out the doses accordingly because there are various preparations available in the market. So I hope I'm able to convey the point. But friends, we adults, the more senior we become, the more is the need for vitamin D. So our elderly people at home, parents, in-laws, seniors, they have to be kept in the frame that yes, they also need it. Amazing. So doctor, given that you know we're not uh, all in a position to do blood tests at this point of time, and the labs are also overburdened with so many people asking for home collections, would you advise people to only get blood tested and then take it? Or can they take this safely for this two month period without worrying too much? They can take this safely right now. Absolutely. It's so vital. It is so crucial. In fact, I can say now, it's a matter of life and death. If not now, then when? This is the time. Because we are all low in it. And in my practice, there are so many other doctors, we check it. We check it left and right for people. And everybody is low in vitamin. Everyone. And they are shocked. They never thought, oh, I'm leading a healthy life. I'm eating healthy. But because food cannot provide vitamin D and we are living a very indoor lifestyle. And even in the sun, that exposure is not adequate to meet the requirement of today. So are there any rare medical conditions that people might have where they should be careful and not do this dose or at least get medical advice before they do it? Sure. I would say that people who are, let us say, having the end stage or chronic kidney disease, which leads them to go for dialysis. These are the people who should be in the bracket. Some people who have hyperthyroidism or an overactive thyroid gland, they should take care or supervised uh, advice from the doctor. Although they all need vitamin D because deficiency is common to all, but the doses could vary, right? And the third would be very, very rare medical term I'm saying, sarcoidosis and all those granulomatous diseases which produce calcium. Because vitamin D per se is not toxic. It is the high calcium that becomes toxic to the body. So otherwise, hypertensives, diabetics, even mild kidney involvements. In fact, vitamin D is good for the kidney. All these people must take vitamin D. They okay. must take prescribe vitamin D for kidneys. Unless they go to an end stage or a very difficult time, then the doctors have to be consulted for that. Awesome, doctor. And like you like to say, and you paraphrase one of the vitamin D researchers where you say that being afraid of taking vitamin D just because you can't get blood tests or you're afraid of toxicity is like refusing to drink water because you're afraid of getting drowned when actually you're sitting in the middle of a desert and you're being so thirsty. So your body is thirsting for vitamin D. So rather than worry about toxicity and all those things, 
this is the time to actually take steps and take the vitamin D. So we will be providing people this information. They've already seen it on the screen. We will also ensure that anybody who writes in with any questions in the comments, just leave us a comment and say that you would like the written information. We'd be happy to send you a PDF with the specific doses that Dr. Mathani has spoken about. Please sure. spread this uh, you know, far and wide. This is Dr. Renu Mathani's mission. Sepalika has joined hands with her to do our small bit in trying to get this information out. Let's use vitamin D3. Let's increase our immunity. Let's protect ourselves from Corona. We wish you all vibrant health and well-being. Thank you.